Here's a TI calculator. This is a TI-83. It's a nice big graphing calculator, and there are different varieties of this. You don't need a calculator this advanced for this class. But if you're looking for a calculator to get, this is a good one, one or one like it. There's the TI-83, the TI-84, the TI-84+. Plus. Uh, they all work basically the same way. Just the, the newer models have more memory and some more programs on them. But they'll all do the computations the exact same way. And the keyboard layout is basically the same on all of them, too. Um, if you don't have one like this, that's OK. But you need to know how to use your calculator. Right now we're talking about subtraction, and you're probably thinking that subtracting numbers on a calculator is really easy, and you don't really need any instruction on that. But listen to this one thing. Most calculators have two different keys with a minus sign on them. Look at this one down on the right side. You see the minus right there. That's the minus key, and that means subtract. Then down at the very bottom, you see this with the negative that's not a minus sign, that's a negative sign. And that means negative or opposite. On some calculators, this key, the negative or opposite key, appears as a little plus minus. It might say plus slash minus, or it might have a plus and a minus one over the other. And it just means change the sign from positive to negative or negative to positive. Toggle back and forth from one to the other. On some calculators, it even says CHS. That's what's written on the key, and that stands for change sign. But the two mean different things. The minus sign means subtract, and the negative sign means opposite. So if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do 28 minus negative 6, I would type 28 and then I would hit minus here, and then negative here for negative 6. And I hit enter, and I get 34. 28 minus negative 6 is the same as 28 plus positive 6, which is 34. And you can see on the screen there, the two symbols actually appear a little bit different. The negative symbol is smaller and raised up a little bit. And that's actually the correct notation. Most textbooks don't make that, that um, subtle little distinction like that. But the negative sign really is a different thing from the minus sign. And it's written a little bit differently. The negative sign is raised up. And it means something a little bit different. It doesn't mean subtract. It means the opposite. So that little negative sign right there means the opposite of 6. 28 minus the opposite of 6. Or 28 minus negative 6. Most textbooks and most people writing by hand just write the minus sign and the negative sign exactly the same way. And that's OK. Just be aware that they mean slightly different things. Another example, if you wanted to do negative 6 plus 10, we use the negative key here for negative 6 and then plus 10. And hit Enter, and we get 4. And that should make sense. Negative 6 plus 10 is equal to 4. The calculator can also handle multiple negative signs. So if I wanted to say the opposite of negative 5, I could say negative with this key here, say negative, negative 5. And that should give me a positive 5 when I hit, hit Enter. And sure enough, it does. If I had negative, negative, negative 5, you see that evaluates to negative 5. Negative, negative, negative 5 means the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of 5. And if you think about it, it should make sense that that's negative 5. So again, if you have a different calculator, that's OK. The keys might be a little different on your calculator. Just make sure you know how to use your calculator to do subtraction, especially when you're dealing with negative numbers.